At least my edges survived. <laughs> Super quick, easy breakfast. I don't have this all the time, but man, this week I've been really feeling the corned beef and hash. And the bread is just the Dave's Killer white bread. So, love that for me. I'm gonna enjoy this and I will see you guys a little bit later today. Guys, I'm always filling up my Stanley. Okay, I like a lot of ice in there. Creatine makes me so thirsty and if you are also taking creatine, if you want to see the best results, please drink a lot of water because you know creatine pulls the water into our muscles. So it'd be kind of pointless if you're not and then if you don't drink enough water and you're also taking creatine, oh girl, it'll lead to you being bloated and feeling super dehydrated. I filled mine up too high. <laughs> So get a cute water bottle. I really love my Stanley. I haven't even had a new water bottle since this. And that says a lot because I'm a water bottle queen, okay? But this one is just so perfect. I got mine on Amazon, so I'll link my Amazon store down below. It is, I think, 40 ounces, has a handle, has a straw. So it helps me drink my water all throughout the day. And it fits in my cup holder, so I always take this with me, especially in the summer wherever I leave the house because like I said that creatine gonna have you feeling like Spongebob at Sandy's house and speaking of I need to get my creatine in for today I still have some juice left so I'm gonna just throw it in my juice this is the creatine I take you guys know this is the same one I've been on for two years two plus years I take five grams a day which is just one scoop and I'm not going to the gym today, so usually I would put this in like my pre-workout or my greens in the morning, but today I had this juice. It doesn't really matter. As long as you take it every day, you're going to see those creatine gains, and you definitely don't want to miss out on those. Okay, what is that on the floor? Oh my gosh, it's just ice that melted. I thought somebody went to the bathroom. What time is it? It's 11.21. I'm going to go do active rest, which means I'm going to my gym down the street to go do about an hour of cardio. I haven't decided if I want to do Stairmaster because I want to have a good leg day this week and I don't want to like overdo it with my quads or if I should just do something light on the treadmill. But regardless, I'm having some Oxy Shred this morning. I need to clean up this water. Show you guys the gym fit. I got the purple vibes today. Look at the quads. Yeah. So today I'm feeling the cycling shorts for cardio. It's just a nice length overall. Thighs don't be rubbing together. And Gymshark is actually doing a huge summer sale, you guys. I'll put the details below for you guys. Basically up to 60% off. And if you guys use my discount code Lachey at checkout, that's an additional 10% off of the sales already, which is insane. So I definitely had to wear some Gymshark today. This is the Ruched Sports Bra. These are the Apex Cycling Shorts in size medium. Love me some Apex, love me some Limitless items. So if you guys can get your hands on any of those things, definitely pick them up. Very stretchy, breathable fabric. I just love it. Water because I chugged a Stanley this morning. I'm telling you, creatine, creatine gonna do what it needs to do if you work with it. I brought my tripod. I might film me stretching. I haven't been to this gym in a minute, so I don't even know. It shouldn't be that busy. Um, and I definitely need to stretch. I decided we're doing, uh, 
was gonna say treadmaster girl are you okay treadmill that's what we're doing today last week you guys know from the vlogs excuse me you know this makes you burp it makes me burp i did a deloading week so i did a lot of lighter weights and now i feel like my strength is back where we can go back to hitting those prs and my current goal right now is to be able to hip thrust four plates yeah four 45 pound plates the max that i was doing before was three 45s and a 25 so i feel like we're getting there why is the air not on so yeah that's a goal that i really want to work towards by the way oh my god thank you seriously i don't know how i didn't start this video out this way but i was editing a fit vlog and i went to go upload it and i saw that we hit 4,000 subscribers i said oh my god you guys i think it's the active wear reviews y'all are loving the honor active videos that's what gets the most views quicker i'm noticing from the analytics and it's what's showing up in the search bar so i think that's really helped me get seen by other people in this space also people that probably don't know that i have a third channel maybe they're coming by i don't know what brought you to my youtube channel i'm actually very curious are you followers from my instagram and like my other youtube accounts or is this like your first time watching my videos or did you find me from like an honor active activewear review like i really am interested to know because i really wanted to hit 4k in june and june isn't over yet but you guys did that so thank you oh, that is so exciting i literally got up this morning and i was like i want to film a fit vlog because I'm excited to just talk about fitness stuff, gym stuff, food, supplements, clothes, just overall how I'm feeling, just the general motivation and just showing that I'm getting up, I'm moving my body and I wanna inspire at least one other person to do the same and when you guys tell me you're at the gym, I'm like, okay, now if they're at the gym, I gotta go to the gym now. Whenever I see you guys in my DMs posting that you're on like the treadmill and stuff, like I love that you guys watch me when you're doing your workouts on the treadmill. I get that comment a lot. Like that just, it just makes me realize like, yes, starting this new channel was super hard, but it was so worth it to just have this community of girls that like are the same mind as me. Like we're working together and we're like pushing and motivating each other in such a positive way. So cheers to you guys for that definitely needed to give a big thank you for joining me on this journey and i feel like sometimes i'm uploading too many videos because i also had a goal this month to post 20 videos across all my channels and i think we're at 18 right now but i posted the most on this channel and at some point i'm like oh they're gonna be so sick of me like i need to slow down but if it were up to me i would do daily fit vlogs because it's like or at least on like my workout days but actually no rest days too because i like to show like what i'm doing when i'm not in the gym like recovery wise so let me know what type of videos you guys prefer i know that i try to do workout videos but those don't be getting the views so i just stick to general like fitness vlogs i think those are just fun throw a little bit of everything into a video you guys can let me know what types of videos you enjoy watching the most i think it would really help me out just to kind of plan for next month content that you guys would be interested in seeing um transformation videos like i think those are always so fun but those take me a while to do because obviously it's a transformation but those are my favorites to watch it's very motivational and i just did my fitness journey video if you guys would be interested to check that video out and you want to get to know me and my journey better i'll put in the cards for you actually um, and like supplement result videos. I think those do really well. Like my glutamine video and my greens did really well on this channel. I think it's actually my most viewed and that did crappy when I first uploaded it. So that's telling me that it is searchable and I like doing helpful content like that where I try something out for a period of time and I actually show you my transformation and my real results because that's what I'm interested when I'm searching for stuff. For the first time so i don't know you guys can just let me know sorry that i went off on a tangent in a rant but it's very much so necessary but it's going on 12 and i don't want to be out of the house all day sorry also i look um like i didn't get sleep i think my allergies are just getting worse and i, I thought pollen was gone but i keep sneezing so i don't know what to do i don't know what's going on 
but I do want to film like that's what I was saying nobody wants to watch my workout videos but I want to show you guys my back routine because I motivated myself when Kalila and I were working out this past weekend and oh my god it's the oxy strand <laughs> I'm so sorry I'm disgusting fact about me I burp all day every day long all day every day like a man like my grandpa oh my god <laughs> That's the real me. What I was saying is after Kalila was getting all the angles for me, killing it like she always does. She's like, girl, I tried a new angle. Kills it. But I was like, oh my god, my back looks like that. Because one, I don't hit back that consistently. Or at least I haven't. But now I'm like, I need to do at least two back days a week. Like, I could not sleep on my back last night. Like, I was like, so sore. Like... The workout was working out because girl it was too much but like in a good way so I kind of want to show you guys my routine it's super simple it's nothing crazy it has changed since like I was going to this gym I know I filmed a video at this gym and it was mostly cable based I don't do cable workouts actually at all at this new gym so it's just nice to switch things up from time to time however I'm rambling now I do miss my lower body workouts that I would do over here with like dumbbells and the preloaded bar and like doing my step ups and my walking lunges those really gave me results so I kind of want to do that again and work it into my routine but I feel like I don't want to do that at my current gym because that's just doing a lot <laughs> So I think it's just nice that I have the option and it'll switch up my workouts because that's the thing you guys like I'm sure you've been there where you feel like your workouts are so repetitive especially if you're in a routine which you should be you should be sticking to those staple exercises um sorry my car is in reverse you should be sticking to those staple exercises that's how you get results stick to those movements progress with your weights and really like hone in on your form and that mind muscle connection chef's kiss in whatever workouts you're doing because that's where you're really going to see growth and you're constantly working harder and upping your weights and you're able to do more sets and more reps instead of just switching it up constantly so when you're in that routine and you're doing the same movements you're doing your squats and your lunges and you're doing your hip thrust it is very boring I'm not gonna hold you like you gotta kind of switch it up a little bit and sometimes even just switching it up with the weights that you're using like instead of just using machinery all the time it could be more fun to just switch to like dumbbells for a hot minute you know what I'm saying and instead of doing like reverse lunges switch it up to do um, walking lunges or doing split squats like it all seriously works the same areas but you can find different workouts and tweak it to switch things up so it's not so boring and repetitive and also your workout environment maybe you want to do some at-home workouts or maybe you want to work out with a friend this day or work out by yourself another day you know like those have really helped me personally so I don't feel demotivated and feel like oh I don't want to go to the gym because it's the same old same old I don't feel like that right now but I have felt like my leg routines have been kind of the same so I'm like oh let's add something else maybe instead of going to the gym we'll go down the street and do dumbbell so or even just like do cardio at the gym you know or go for a walk outside if it's a cardio day like there are little things that you can do that can really help you so that you can continue to feel inspired and motivated to hit those goals every day so I just thought that was super important to kind of touch on if you've ever felt like you know like oh, the gym <laughs> we have felt that that was literally me this morning until I put on my outfit and I was like no nah, we gotta go I also wanted to tell you girls for the girlies that don't like wearing makeup or lipstick to the gym or just in general this is the best lip balm I swear to you guys it's actually a lip mask but I reapply this thing so much this is my second one I bought it tastes like oranges I'll link it below I also like that it's in a squeezy tube so you don't have to put your dirty hands in it like a lot of other lip masks but it has peptides in it as well also update on these you know I bought silicone pads if you're wearing makeup it will stain but I'd rather it stain this and then you can wash it or use like a wipe you can kind of see it um, to clean it it's easier to clean than the pads themselves 
but they are comfortable they do however get hot because it's silicone so if you're a very hot person if you're a heavy sweater you get hot your ears get hot maybe don't buy these on Amazon but they are also linked below your girl Kayla back with a voiceover yeah so we're doing some Stairmaster today this girl it humbled me so freaking fast I just wanted to talk a little bit about cardio because cardio is actually really important yes you guys know I'm lifting heavy in the gym but cardio is super important as well especially on those you know rest days and having active rest days it can really help your mood i know for me whenever i just get out the house it just feels really nice to just move my body get those steps in but it also helps with fat loss so for me and my bulk because i like to have a lean bulk i like to look a certain way i still want to be snatched okay but thick at the same time adding cardio into my routine is something that i am really excited about because it's something that i really don't do that much but i am definitely getting back into implementing it into my routine and for form when it comes to the stairmaster please make sure that you are keeping your back straight there's nothing more than i hate than i see people hunched over and they're holding onto the rails and they're putting all their weight on the rails that is really taking away from this exercise and i actually like to focus on feeling it in my legs sometimes going slower is even more effective and i feel like i'd be sweating the most i'm not gonna hold you the oxy shred had me dripping you guys so i'll do intervals where i'm sprinting on like level 10 i'll do little sessions when i'm skipping every other step or i'll walk really slow or i'll walk to the side just to kind of mix things up since i did this for an hour yeah an hour it was tough but your girl did it my edges survived <clears throat> when I tell you the Stairmaster <laughs> love it hate it how did I manage to do 60 minutes <sighs> I wanted to stop after two but I said do it and then we can have sushi <laughs> But seriously, guys, you gotta push yourself. The only reason why I went on this Stairmaster is because the man next to me on the treadmill was smelling so bad, I literally wanted to throw up. I don't know. And the thing is, like, there were seven other machines and I'm all the way on the end. Why did he have to come next to me? I was like, oh no, I gotta go. So I took my butt over to the Stairmaster for 60 minutes. So I was on the treadmill for 15 20 minutes um because i was at the gym for 97 minutes y'all oh my god so i tried to record a little bit of my workout but i didn't want to be rude because the girl was next to me and the lighting is just not so nice even the lighting in the bathroom i was like wow and it looks like i peed my pants <laughs> y'all i'm telling you oxy shred will make you sweat so much it's such a good thing like I had droplets coming off of my face, droplets on my arms, literally stains on my shorts, 
and I love to sweat I think that's why we go to the gym we shouldn't feel embarrassed about having sweat marks on our leggings like at this point if you're not sweating you're not pushing yourself hard enough sweetie something's wrong there but I don't mind sweating in the gym I felt empowered I felt like I really showed up for myself I feel like I really pushed myself I've been drinking my water as you guys can see and I did um, actually post a bikini haul and review on my beauty channel and someone said how do you look this good on a bulk oxy shred yeah and also just eating proper foods and moving my body like you can look snatched on a bulk you don't have to look fluffy and I went into detail about the difference oh my god the fire trucks are here what's going on uh-oh um you don't have to feel crappy on a bulk like you can do it the right way and like I said I take supplements that really help me feel my best and push myself and really sweat and I love that for me like there's ways to like still feel good and trust me when I say like I've done a bulk the worst way aka a dirty bulk so I know the difference between the two and right now I'm just feeling my best bulking through summertime so go get you some oxy shred while they still have it on super sale for the summer sale literally like the last week you guys you can get up to 60% off with my coupon code um I'm gonna go get some sushi why do I go around life looking like this <laughs> Hey, okay, that's a weird sort of flex. Yeah, I went to school. All it did was put me more in debt. Dropped out. Now I'm going dummy like I'm for this hat. Party with the normies. I think shorty with the Georgia Tech. Got more money and more sex. Only make me more depressed. Finding love is harder than a cameraman on porno sets. Ugh. Stream of consciousness. I just ignored it. I don't want to look at another stare after today's workout. I look ridiculous, but at this point, I'm going to stop apologizing for my appearance. So I literally just got more bread. I didn't really get anything crazy. Bananas for my blessed protein. Smoothies that I like to make. These are the crab cakes from Wegmans. They look super good. They were 18 bucks. They say you can just bake them for 12 minutes. Just triple checking there's no dairy so I think I'm gonna make this tomorrow in the next fit vlog I got avocado sushi roll wow it's we literally just got in before it's downpouring what is this shrimp tempura cooked sushi is my fave and I like avocado rolls as well and then I get the spicy shrimp roll this one's not fried so hopefully I'll be able to eat all of this. Usually I'm full after the second one. I got some baby portobellos for my bowl tonight. I just got them sliced so it'd be easier to prep. Vegan cheese. This is the best. This is way better than Daya. Daya is not good and I just realized Wegmans carries the Follow Your Heart brand. They don't have everything. My favorite from them is their pepper jack because it's spicy. Uh, but I just get the American style for my grilled cheeses. And they don't have a cheddar at Wegmans, but I'm pretty sure Whole Foods does. Chopsticks. So, yeah. Amazon. Whew. HP Labs is bae. And you know it's bae. And you know the love is real when I spend my own money on their stuff. So, like I said, you guys know I am addicted to <laughs> these the blessed protein bars they are out of stock on the website so i found them on amazon i don't know if they are limited i don't know if they're planning on bringing them back i don't know anything girl all i know is i cannot live without them i already purchased with my own money a box of the salted caramel and i have three bars left they come with 12 in each pack so I got two more boxes of salted caramel and two more boxes of the chopped raspberry. So now I should be good for like a month. Honestly, it's so bad. I eat like sometimes two a day because there's I literally crave them and they are by far the best protein bar I've ever had. 
like Cliff Who. That's what I was eating before. This has like a little more protein than the Cliff Bars. It just tastes so good. Like they need to keep this on the website, you guys, because your girl is addicted. The salted caramel tastes just like a Twix bar. The texture, consistency, chocolatey, the crunchiness, all of that, literally the same. And then you guys know I did a review on these on my channel. The chocolate raspberry is very chocolatey with like a raspberry jam. Mm, so good. And my mom loves the peanut butter caramel ones. I haven't had those obviously, but she is always eating them. So she likes them in the fridge. doesn't look that appetizing I feel like it needs something green <laughs> but the carrots are sweet from the honey it's a lot of like savory taste as well from the mushrooms and the beef so really easy simple meal high protein high calorie got some micronutrients in there and it didn't take me too long to prepare plus I have leftovers which is always nice and saves me a lot of time of course I'm gonna have it with my favorite kombucha because I love having kombucha every day this just I don't know the carbonation like when it burns your nostrils <laughs> anybody else so I'm gonna have this watch some YouTube edit this vlog and I will see you guys you sleepy I will see you guys tomorrow with another vlog very soon